Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Um, I wanted to talk today about being ill um, during cancer, being ill after chemo, after you've had all your treatment. It's just an everyday occurrence and it seems to happen all the time and it gets really frustrating. So that's the sort of thing I want to talk about today. But before I go on, <laughs> let's see where we are today. Now, <coughs> A couple of days ago, you saw me all the way up there going around rocks. Now, I haven't done that today. I thought I'd go to the starting point, which is actually the, um, the, uh, the fishing harbour in, uh, in, in, well, near Malaga. Um, all these boats, generally nearly all of them, are all fishing boats. Um, I'm not going to go all the way down because they're busy doing their thing, you know, restringing nets and all sorts. <clears throat> So that's, that's where I am today. Oh, actually, there's a, there's a bunch of nets just here. There's a whole pile of them. Oh, and a lady. Um, so, right, the only reason I want to do this today is because um, last night I didn't have a very good night's sleep. <clears throat> now, generally, I always put it down to something. <clears throat> um, look, I went to the gym last night, and I think I did too much. That might be a contributing factor. Um, doesn't always work like that, you know. Uh, you know... <sighs> Um, I've got a mouthful of sores, not cold sores, not mouth ulcers, sores, so um, you, you get that from time to time. And it may be that I've eaten food a little bit too hot, I don't think so, I, I think it actually is just sores. Um, it just happens inside your gums um, and the inside, uh, underneath, uh, the, 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 in your mouth bit, not the outside of your teeth, the inside of your teeth. And that's generally where you get the sores. Um, obviously, I've got cold sores. I think I mentioned that the other day, uh, yesterday, day before. I can't remember. Um, <clears throat> and they take they take a little bit of a while to get gone. That's why I haven't shaved again, because um, you you tend to cut the tops off. Um, and also, um, you know, not sleeping last night. Well, <clears throat> when I when I was before I was diagnosed, um, one of the signs to my particular cancer was really really bad hot sweats. Um, <clears throat> to the point where you could um, walk out of a shower without drying yourself and you're absolutely dripping wet and that's what you look like <clears throat> you 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 are absolutely caked in 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 sweat and I got a bit hot last night and a bit sweaty so I got up a few times and <clears throat> I drank like a like a walk like a fish I, I just drank so much water uh, I'm on I, <laughs> This is one of the things I'm trialling at the moment, drinking more and more water to see if it, to see if it helps. And I think it is, because I do actually feel better. Um, but in the night I, I was drinking a lot of water. Um, so I said to my wife this morning, I said, do you think it was hot last night? She said, oh, it's boiling, she said. Um, and she, she actually said, I was, I, she said, because she normally, my wife would normally dress up in a, oh God pyjamas, dressing gown, all sorts, covered. Um, we live in a hot country, um, but actually at the moment we're having a bit of a cold spell. Um, and she said, actually, I, I was wearing your underwear last night because I was that hot. And um, so it was, it was warm. And if my wife says that, it was warm. So the worry of something coming back, you know, because that's the problem. Um, every single day, every morning you wake up, if there's something that you don't feel right, you just you just worry that it's coming back and, and it's nothing you can control it just it, it is what it is it's one of those things <clears throat> so i i got up this morning and said to my wife was it hot she said yes so that bit is gone now that that's fine the other one was i did a lot in the gym last night and my shins are a bit itchy now i know why they are now because i've had a little think about it the other contributing factor to my particular hodgkin's lymphoma is your legs get itchy from the waist down that's a sign that it's coming back well my legs are itchy but only on my shins well actually i spent uh half an hour on the bag last night on the on the kick bag the punch bag um um because i've done a, a a bout of martial arts so I, I was only shin kicking uh, and that's why my shins are itching today because uh, they're obviously trying to repair themselves <laughs> um, so that that was that i mean <clears throat> the i haven't really got anything else wrong with me today per se it was just those couple of things and actually what i wanted to tell you is that every single day after during beginning 
uh, when it's gone you'll, you'll still get the same it'll still be exactly the same these these two people have been watching me the other side of the fence for about well, how long have we been going now five minutes um, and I've decided to walk off I think they're the uh, the port inspectors <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting them to come over and tell me to go. Oh, they are. They actually port inspectors. It says on the back of their shirts. And um, so, <clears throat> the contributing factors to uh, you know, no, no, sorry, it's getting off straight. Here. The the thoughts of, of of the of the cancer or the illness coming back because you're getting ill on a daily basis is a massive worry. It's it is a massive worry, and it's like I said, you there's nothing you can control. Um, to stop it there's nothing you know I've tried many 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 ways you know I I like I said I set targets I try and do something I go on my phone I try and forget about it but you can't you can't that's that's one of the hardest things about living with cancer um, on a daily basis you're thinking about something now when I'm at work I'm too busy I'm too busy there's too much going on I'm, I'm trying to solve problems I'm trying to do things I'm trying to uh, trying to work uh, I haven't got time um, to think about it which is great it really is you know the because it's a massive stress uh, the worry is a massive stress um, you know and if, if you can get rid of the massive stress you're not thinking about it um, and actually the worry of it you know the, the stress is a, is a big contributing factor as well to um, you know, to you getting better, um, to you getting getting the cancer gone. Um, but you know, when when you're working or when you're doing something, you don't you, you don't think about it as much. You know, that's why I you know like last night I didn't want to go to the gym last night. I was I was a bit too tired. And, and <clears throat> when when you've gone through chemotherapy and cancer, you get really tired anyway. You know, you, you, people say, oh come on out we're all going out for nine o'clock in Spain they eat late they eat late I can't it's just something I can't do I'm like I said after chemotherapy and cancer you're like an 80 or a 90 year old inside it's it's just how it is my organs are that old because of the effects of chemotherapy that's what it does it breaks them down and and you get tired really quickly and and it's nothing you d I don't want it to be like that I don't you know some of my mates on here and my wife and some of the people I know on here will will relate to me being up all night and you know being that being a dancer in a club and all the rest of it back in the day I go on all night until the following day I can't do anything like that now you know for instance most nights I'm in bed by about nine half nine I got home from the gym last night I had uh, half a chicken <laughs> half a chicken a sweet potato no sauce no nothing I'm a bit boring like that um, <clears throat> and uh, downed about two liters of water and uh, off off to bed I went um, I, you know, I am messing about on, on my phone for probably an hour or so. Actually, it went on a little bit longer because I couldn't sleep because I'd done too much in the gym. You know, for instance, my shoulders were killing me. <laughs> um, I'd done a lot of shadow boxing with, with six kilo weights. Um, anybody that knows or is in the game, they know what shadow boxing with big weights is. It's, it's hard work. Um, and the lady actually that I've mentioned in the previous videos that does the same sort of thing in 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 America um, I'm gonna do a video with her one day actually because uh, she's a very interesting lady um, She will relate to this because she knows when she she used to be a weightlifter for instance um, I've looked on her on her thing. She's always doing videos every single day um, And she used to be a weightlifter now. She said that she can't do heavy weights anymore because she gets pains in the back of her neck and stuff like that and you know she's got a, a particular disease uh, cancer that's um, uh, it's quite not very nice the same as all of us really but you know we've all got different ones um, so she can't do what she used to do and the same as me I can't do what I used to do so last night I was I was I was awake for quite some time so I was I was just dicking around on on YouTube I had something playing in the background on the iPad as well but you know and then I fell asleep and then you know my wife stays up late you know because she's a you know, she's she's like a bloody bat. She stays up all night, um, and then she comes in, and I'm awake anyway. And you know, and then I'm up and down, up and down, up and down. And that doesn't happen all the time. You know, the last week or so, I have had a flat-out night of sleep. It's been brilliant. So I think maybe because I'm a little bit ill, 
you know you don't know you're ill really you know I'm I I am ill but I don't feel ill it sounds stupid I know but I've got sores in my mouth I've got cold sores uh, and I don't feel my best I don't feel I feel quite lethargic if you like uh, quite tired um, um, I haven't got a lot of energy to do stuff and that's that's when you know that you've done a little bit too much or or you're a little bit ill and you just need to just calm it down slightly so being ill during cancer being ill during chemo being ill after chemo after cancer you know it's just part of life it's 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 what happens and you've got to learn to calm yourself down or learn to just take it easy or you know even say for the ladies for instance and i mean this isn't every single lady i'm, I'm just being i'm just being i'm not being a male chauvinist pig i'm just saying uh, when the ladies go shopping for instance now my wife can go shopping and she can spend a whole day going around the mall we've got a big mall in here uh, uh, in in spain where we live and there's about 200 shops or something in there she can spend a whole day in there and she loves it there's a couple of particular shops she can spend hours in me being a bloke being a dude coffee shop yeah because i'm not really a shopper but if if for instance like you you ladies that will be watching are, are suffering as well um you'll relate to this you know you won't be able to walk around those shops all day like you used to do because it's just impossible because you don't feel very well you don't feel right um so that's why i say when you don't feel right it uh, you know set yourself targets anyway but <clears throat> when you're ill you can't really set too much of a target because it just your body just won't let you so you know i think just you know, I do like this fishing boat. This, this fishing boat belongs to Alfonsito Jesus. <laughs> uh, I actually think I know him. I think he's a neighbour, but um, I'm not 100% sure. Only because I've spoke to him and he seems to work nights. And now every day that boat's parked there again. <laughs> uh, but we'll see. So, you know, the, he, everybody set targets but don't overdo it because you you do get ill after chemotherapy and after cancer or during cancer or living with cancer you do get ill and it's just something you can't control elements another big thing a massive thing i do massive 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 thing i've always been very clean anyway very clean but actually as 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 time goes by as you know and the after cancer and the after chemo and everything i tend to wash more than what i would have done before because to catch a cold for instance somebody's sneezing around you don't really catch a cold off that oh another one you don't really catch a cold off that um you've got to take it in you know if somebody sneezes at your face you know and you've got your mouth open i suppose you're going to catch something but <clears throat> Washing your hands. Now, a massive lesson that I've learned, you know, stomach bugs, viruses, cold coughs, everything. Um, after chemotherapy, you know, and with cancer and all the rest of it, you'll catch bugs all the time. But actually, you can sort of alleviate it. Now, for instance, when I go to the toilet, for instance, I mean, uh, it annoys me when I see people walk out and they haven't washed themselves, but that's just, that's life. Um, I always wash my hands before and after because I'm a little bit anal like that. Um, but actually, when I leave the toilet, in a public toilet, for instance, or a cafe or a restaurant or a bar, um, actually, I wash my hands and I walk out with the paper towel in my hand and I do not touch that door again until... Uh, well, I don't touch it. I, I use the paper. Um, what's going on here? Everybody's here. Um, I use the paper um, to open the door or touch the door and, and I know then I won't catch a bug so that's how that you know that's how I <laughs> um, that's how I you know try and try and stay away from being ill and it does work actually it really does work and, and, I, and I think if you I mean I've always got a piece of paper towel on me anyway uh, I'm always washing my hands always washing my hands um, and that actually does help. So, you know, if you can uh, wash your hands more, it keeps the bugs away. Carry paper towels. 
Do you know, don't worry about people sneezing around you. I mean, we're all afraid. We're all afraid. You know, you get somebody that's, that's farting near you, for instance. Oh, no, sorry. But you get somebody farting near you and you think, oh, crap, he's got the diarrhea or something. Uh, nah, you're not really going to catch it, to be honest. Um, yeah, you probably will if it's, a, if it's a stomach bug going around. Well, no, you definitely will, you know. But catching a cold and stuff like that generally is from not washing your hands so if I suggest to you you wash your hands all the time and when you leave a public toilet or leave a public premises just use something to uh, to hold the handle the door handle everybody when I worked at a particular company in Spain uh, it was in a hotel <laughs> and my colleagues would say to me they all only ever spoke to me in Spanish <clears throat> which was obviously good for my, my language because I, I speak Spanish um, they would all say to me, Jason, why do you always come out the toilet with paper towels in your hand and you stand outside the toilets or outside the toilets in the corridor and you're looking at everybody wiping your hands? And I said, well, <clears throat> I'm obviously assessing the area. <laughs> it's just, I don't know, it's the fighter in me. I'm just making sure everything's all correct. Um, and I've just come out of the toilet after washing my hands um, and I haven't touched the door handle uh, and the paper towel I've finished with whenever I go somewhere so for instance I would go to my desk um, and I would wipe the desk with the damp towel then throw the towel in the, in the bin it's just something I did every day it was just very strange and I still do it now you know um, so uh, being ill during cancer being ill after chemo and all the rest of it you know it's just life it's what happens um, and today's a good example I'm not very well but that's life um, but listen hey the sun is there somewhere <laughs> we got a few cows this morning it's a bit chillier this morning you'll see I've got a scarf on again um, but listen I'm by the sea I don't care if I'm ill so listen like and subscribe to the channel guys um, give me a few comments tell me how I'm doing um, and I'll see you on the next one tomorrow no doubt have a good one peace